Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from me, SOC Hobbit. As you can see, we are back in Skyrim. Ooh, a torch. Uh, for you who have played this mod, you may recognize it. This is the Live Another Life mod. Pretty much you spawn your character, or you click a new game, and you make your character race whatever, um, and you're here inside this little room. There's a bed, there's a table, uh, I hope that's not, like, supposed to be a chamber pot, but I'm pretty sure it is. And a dead guy. Um, and then the statue of Mara. Pretty much what this mod allows you to do is just, you click the statue, or you make your character, you click the statue, and then you get all these different options to start out the game. So I came by ship to Skyrim. That'll allow you to spawn in any of the port cities in Skyrim. Like, which city did you sail to? Solitude, Dawnstar, Windhelm. And deactivate that. So, pretty much this game allows you to start where you want to start without having to always do that really long cutscene at the very beginning of the game with uh, being taken to Helgen and stuff like that. But you can do everything. I mean, you can start by owning a house in one of the places. Uh, you can start at being a member of the guilds. I haven't done the Thieves Guild one. I have done the Dark Brotherhood one. That starts after you've killed Grella the Kind and killed one of the one or three of the people in the shack. You start in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and Astrid is giving you your first orders. So that's where that starts. Uh, patron at the local inn. I haven't done that one. Soldier, it's pretty simple. You just you skip the first uh, um, quest for either the Stormcloaks or the Imperial, and you're already part of the army, and you you're starting on the Jagged Crown quest. Um, cross the I caught cross yeah I got caught crossing the border illegally. That's the standard intro to Skyrim, and you'll start out just like you would normally. Outlaw. Haven't done that one. Vigilant of Stendar, I've done that one. You just pretty much start it. And with all these, you start out with everything that you would need that you would need to. Um, so some of these are better than others. Like a new member of Guild, you start out with the Dark Brotherhood armor. I'm like I said, I haven't done the Thieves Guild, so I don't know where it starts up at, whether you've got the Thieves Guild armor or not. Um if you're a soldier in the army, then I'm not. You'll probably start with a set of that armor, or prob. No, I think what happens is you start with a set of leather armor, and then you go talk to the blacksmith and decide what you want from there. But uh, camping in the woods, some of these like camping in the woods, and I was attacked and left for dead. You can just pretty much spawn anywhere, and you you won't have very much stuff, and it can be pretty hard to start out. Um, ship, shipwrecked off the coast I think you start up north somewhere ba now the interesting ones are stuff like the outlaw in the wilds I think that pretty much makes you friendly with all bandits I'm not certain but I'm a vampire in a secluded lair you start out uh, I want to say up by Windhelm maybe just west of Windhelm in this cave and there's some other little vampires in there and you uh, already have vampirism. You have some, like, mage robes and stuff. Stuff that will enhance your uh, vampire abilities without making you OP at the beginning. Necromancer in a secret location. That's the one I'm going to pick for this character, so we'll see that. Or you could just surprise me, and that could be any of these options. And any sub-option for them. So, let's click the Necromancer. And then what you have to do, you click the option, and you s sleep in the bed, and you start out wherever you chose. One thing to note, um, oh, oh, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, and I also forgot to start a timer, again. So let's start time here I don't want to go too long probably just this is I want to make this an intro video uh, what I'm gonna do with this series oh 
first let me explain my character. I made my character a high elf. Now I haven't made many high elves, and uh, but I'm going to make this mainly a magical character. Uh, what I'm going to do, some of you who have watched my videos know about my Skyrim one, level 100 conjurer video that I did several months back. It's gotten a lot of views, more views than any of my other videos, and a lot of comments. And so what I want to do with this character is kind of rebuild my conjurer and make him even more powerful than he was in that video, than my conjurer was in that video. I would have gone back to that conjurer and tried to fix some things, but unfortunately that conjurer, the save for that file was on a different computer that I no longer have, so I have to completely restart the character. Now, since I am going to go probably a lot faster than I did the other character, the other character was one of my first characters in Skyrim, so I was trying to go more with more of the route that I want to experience the game and not take shortcuts or exploits and stuff like that. My feeling now is that I put a good 50 hours into that character, maybe more. Um, and I don't, I feel justified in this, on this character, if I do some more, some of those exploits, shortcuts, stuff like that, in order to level up faster, just so that I can have my Master Conjurer again. Um, also, I want to have my Conjurer... I would like to have him by, to level 50 by the time Dawnguard releases for the PC, so that gives me, I mean, what, it comes out next week, a week and a half for the Xbox, and then a month after that for the PC. So it's not that far away, so I want this character ready. Now I know you don't have to be high level to play Dawnguard. They've already said level 10 and you'll be good, but I want to experience it. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to experience it from the eyes of a high-level character and a low-level character. Uh, let me just give you a quick summary of my plans. Well, actually, well, I've you've seen enough of this room. That's pretty much the whole thing. You can't go through the door. It requires a key. No one responds to the pounding. Sleep in the bed. And here I am in this little cave in Black Room. Now I'm going to take that Nurn route because it makes a long lot of noise. So as you can see, there's some stuff here, Dwarven Dagger, um, and I'm wearing, let's go in my inventory, I'm wearing just normal, oh, I actually did not know that. Those boots have a sneak enchantment on them. Uh, circle, circlet of minor magicka, increase my magicka by 20 points, and robes of minor conjuration. So nothing... I mean, it's a nice start for someone who has nothing, but it's nothing overwhelming. I mean, you're not going to be... Oh, what's this? <coughs> Leather boots of hauling. Okay, so that's a sneak enchantment that makes 30 more points to carrying capacity. I'll take that over the sneaking. And then they give you some spells, Lesser Ward, Ray Zombie, and Conjure Familiar. So, have those. So that's a, that's one thing I kind of wish you could have done in the original um, Skyrim uh, without, or I guess I should say the unmodded Skyrim. I wish you could, uh, what's this? Okay, a book that increases my alchemy. <coughs> I wish in the regular Skyrim, you, st if you you wanted to make a conjuration character that you started out with Ray Zombie as a starting spell. If you play as a Breton, you get the uh, Conjure Familiar, which is right there. The Conjure Familiar spell is just, it brings this Atronach in the shape of a wolf. And, uh,. I guess it works all right in the very first level, but I have n after that very first prison fight, uh, once you get out into the open world, you start exploring. I have never used that uh, spell again because 
the wolf just becomes super weak compared to every other enemy. Um, why did I make a high elf other than a Breton? Mainly because I, one of my last characters I played was a Breton. I don't, I did get any recording of that character, but she was shorter than everyone in the game, and I don't know if it's partly because I'm six two and I'm taller than most people I meet, but I could not stand being short. It's also probably the reason why in every MMO I played, I could not stand playing a dwarf. I couldn't even, when I played Lord of the Rings Online and my friends gave me no amount of grief uh, over this, I could not play as a hobbit. Because, I don't know, the animations for hobbits and dwarves in that game, I just did not like the way they ran. And I preferred the taller races like elves and humans. Um, <clears throat> so my plan for this character is to make... Uh, the focus on, con on bleh, conjuration but also uh, for combat because I can't just let my conjured things do everything I want my combat to focus on archery um, especially once I get the bound bow because that's freaking awesome it doesn't really matter what I focus on because I can always use the bound weapons later on and they don't take any room in my inventory um but archery i've always been a fan of archery and my other conjuration character was pretty uh as you can see if you watch that video you saw he was a pretty uh weak at close range and so i'm gonna focus once i get my enchanting up at, at all i'm gonna focus <coughs> 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 sorry i've been I've had a cold lately, and I thought I was able... I thought I've gotten rid of it, but apparently not quite yet. Uh, sorry. Um, I want to uh, focus on heavy armor once I can get my enchanting up high at all and get to the point where I can f f uh, enchant my armor with, like, Fortify Conjuration, uh, Magicka Regen, stuff like that. Because... Like for my sneaky, for my last character was a ranger slash sneaky character, and I realized that like fortifying sneak and uh, archery and stuff like that made my character way more powerful than she already was. And according to reading the comments and stuff on the conjurer video, um, there's apparently a fortify conjuration enchantment that you can get off various items that will pretty much make conjuration spells ca cost absolutely nothing to cast. So I'm really looking forward to getting up to high level enchanting. In fact, enchanting will probably be what I focus on first. I'm ma thinking I might do something like fo do the Assassins or the Dark Brotherhood quest first and get that 20,000 gold at the end of it just to buy soul stones. I'm also here in Blackreach, which I made this. I just tested out this mod a little bit and made a conjurer today. I want to show you something that I did not. I don't know. I've played Skyrim. I haven't messed around too much in the Dwemer ruins, but this Dwemer the guy right here, he shoot. I I don't know if you could tell that, but he shoots me with a crossbow on his arm. Is that a new thing? Oh crap! I saved two quickly you can't really see it let's auto it okay watch his arm it turns he has a freaking steam powered crossbow uh like i say okay where is the freaking exit to this place cuz i do not like this place do not shoot me I, I like Black Reach, but I don't like it that much. And I hope he doesn't shoot me in the back. Yes, yes, stamina low. Thank you very much. I hear rumble. Ah! He's shooting at me. He's shooting at me. Please be an elevator or something. Oh! He's fighting Falmar. Good, good, good. Oh, apparently my timer's done now, so... 
I'll wrap it up now that I'm outside in Skyrim. Um, er, oh. There we go. Okay. So, looking at the map, I am at Aft, Alf, Alftand? Alftand? I guess that's how you say it. There's Winterhold in the north, off to the east, Windhelm, and off to the north, west Dawnstar so that gives you an idea of where you'll start if you choose the conjuration option for this live another life mod um, <coughs> okay just to wrap it up quick I want to focus on heavy armor once I get uh, uh, I've already messed it up twice now enchanting first conjuration second heavy armor archery and for close-up stuff possibly some destruction magic um, I haven't really decided that much yet. Uh, and restoration for healing. Uh, I also might get a companion. To help with the restoration, I might get a companion and the uh, heal other spell. Because according to what I've heard, that can level you up pretty fast too. Since it's a higher level spell than your basic healing. Um, I don't use wards much, so that wouldn't really help. But yeah, so that's my plan with this character. Uh, once I get up to level 100 conjuration and enchanting and all that stuff, I want to make another 100 level 100 conjuration video. Call it like level, like I don't know something. Okay, that's just gross. Maybe call it like level 100 conjuration revisited or something, because a lot of you have mentioned that. Uh, uh, stuff I missed like the Frost Atronach is one thing a lot of people like to bring up you didn't show the Frost Atronach well I thought well, after watching the video I guess I didn't I thought I mentioned the Frost Atronach but pos quite possibly I didn't uh, and I'm pretty sure I didn't but um on that other character, I never really used the Frost Atronach. I didn't... I don't... I'm not sure why I didn't. I think it was because I only really used the ranged ones, because I had a warrior companion that tanked for me. So, I don't think I ever really had a use for a Frost Atronach, and that's probably why I didn't show it. I think I had the spell, but I just never showed it in the video. Um... A lot of you have mentioned enchanting or using other robes are better. Like, I still like the uh, uh, Archmage robes. I mean, I think they're great for all-around magic, but uh, looking at some other videos and stuff, I've realized that for if I'm focusing on any specific sp school of magic, I should really have robes that help that school itself. There are even robes that are better than any enchanted robes you could make. If you're not going for the armor and you're making, for instance, a conjurer, then go, once you're level 100, go to Finnis Quest Jester. He's the conjuration guy at the College of Winterhold. Um, and you can buy master conjuration robes from him. They give you more... Uh, Magicka regen and oh look hunters more Magicka regen and conjuration bonus to fortify conjuration than any other robes in the game even outmatching the archmage robes and so I would highly recommend if you're focusing on any school of magic and you're not going up for enchanting to go for one of those to go for the master robes but uh, that's all for this video. I will hope be. I don't want to post like a playthrough or anything because I get burned out on those. I just want to play the game. I don't want to make it an organized uh, movie type event. I'll probably focus on various quests that I haven't done in the past. So, like the probably the Daedric quests. Since this character is pretty much an evil character, I'll be doing those. Um, I won't do any of the guilds, the Dark Brotherhood, the Thieves Guild, the Companions, because those have been done to death. 
or on YouTube. You can find those anywhere. But I'll just look, keep my eye out for exciting quests that I haven't really seen in other videos, and uh, put the and play those like on this character like I would. I kind of just that went nowhere. I'll just look for exciting quests that aren't as common as the main quests in the game are. Civil War quest, that's another one a lot of people do on YouTube. And it's pretty, I mean, it's really simple. One side hates the other, you can join one side, you fight the other side till they're all dead, and then you cut off the leader's head. That's pretty much the Civil War in a nutshell. There's a lot more story and lore to it if you want to look into it, but for a gameplay thing, that's not really what I'm looking for. But, uh, so yeah, wrapping up the video, like I said five minutes ago. <clears throat> this will be my level 100 conjurer soon. He doesn't look like much now. For his story, he's a high elf, yes, but a high elf in my mind that is not going to stand for what the Thalmor stand for complete domination by elves and elves alone and so he's gonna gonna be like the anti Thalmor high elf person I guess um, and so he'll probably not he'll probably join the storm cloaks in the Civil War quest because he probably won't like the Empire much for their little truce with the Thalmor. But yeah, so, start part one of The Conjurer, and hopefully when I finally make my final video, it won't get as many complaints as my other video got. But uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and have a great week.